The study team for reopening schools safely and educating youth, also known as Rossi, is providing innovative ways to discuss important topics around COVID-19 and address misinformation. The team has been in the community talking to teachers, nurses, and school staff, parents, and even students about the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's learn about some of the concerns raised in the community. Hey there, Sophia. Hi, Maria. Is Tuesday still good for Mary to come over and play with Sam? That's more than two weeks after Sam's final shot. We're ready. I feel safer knowing all the kids will be protected against COVID-19. Whoa, did all kids already get the COVID-19 vaccine? Why, aren't they too young? I thought vaccine was for 12 years and older. Now there are vaccines for kids five through 11. I didn't want to take any chances, so I took Mary to the doctor as soon as we heard that there were vaccines for younger kids. Diana, I waited a little, but then got worried about what would happen if my Sam got infected. I don't want him to spread COVID-19 to his grandparents or for him to get very sick. Yes, getting vaccinated not only protects our kids, but also our family and community. But I thought the virus doesn't make kids sick. We can hope so, but I've also heard about kids who get super sick and have to go to the hospital or whose symptoms never go away. Oh, that's scary. I tell David to wash his hands all the time, get masked up, and he seems to be doing fine. Washing hands is important, and masking up too. Still, even if you do everything you can, it is important to get vaccinated. Dr. Gonzalez told me that the COVID-19 vaccine gives the best protection against infection and getting really sick from COVID-19. My sister vaccinated my niece, even though the whole family had COVID-19 last summer. Even natural immunity isn't perfect, so vaccination gives my niece super protection. Hmm, the COVID-19 vaccine seems like a good idea for David. Hey, go! COVID-19 is still spreading and more children are getting it than before. The COVID-19 vaccine lowers the chance that children will be infected, get very sick from COVID-19, have long-term symptoms from COVID-19, and spread the virus to others. The COVID-19 vaccine is the best protection we have against COVID-19. What a good game. Look, it's Nurse Alex. Hi. Hi, Hi Alex. Alex. It's so nice to see the kids playing soccer again. I agree. We were just talking about the importance and the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine. Oh, did you all have your kids vaccinated? Yes, yes we, we have. have. Not yet. I have some questions about the vaccine. I am happy to answer any questions. We can sit at the bench and talk. Can I ask, how does the vaccine work? Is it safe for David? Great questions. You can think of the vaccine as sending information to David's body and how to recognize, then defeat the COVID-19 virus. His immune cells will remember this information and fight the virus if he ever gets the virus. Yes, I remember hearing about that with the flu vaccine. That's right, it works the same. Also, younger kids ages five through 11, like David, get a smaller dose compared to adults. As for safety, the COVID-19 vaccine has been tested a lot for safety, just like the other vaccines kids get and millions of kids have gotten it. Scientists say that there is a risk of heart inflammation in teenage boys, but this is very rare and it is more likely that kids will have a more severe reaction from a COVID-19 infection. I see. I've heard that vaccines have microchips and that they can cause fertility problems in girls. Is this right? I understand that there is a lot of information out there because the vaccine is newer than other vaccines that we know. But the answer is no. Vaccines do not have microchips and do not cause fertility problems. It's hard to turn ourselves off from what is around us. That is why it is important to know the correct information. Do you know where people can get vaccinated? Yes, first of all, you can also talk to your doctor or other healthcare providers in the community. I can also help you find places to get vaccinated. The Yakima Health District also has websites with updated trusted information. Do they have information in Spanish? Yes, they do. You can find more information in English and Spanish on their website. It only takes a few minutes to sign up all throughout the community. Thank you. I will get David registered for this. 
He has been wanting for life to get back to normal. And after talking to you, I feel confident that getting all of us vaccinated will help us get there. Yes, we're all in this together, and together we can make our community more safe. The COVID-19 vaccine will teach your child's immune system to protect them against the virus. The vaccine is safe. Children do very well right after the shot. Serious side effects are very rare. The vaccine does not cause infertility or long-term problems. Healthcare providers agree children should get the COVID-19 vaccine. Use trusted sources for more information. Watch out for bad information. Getting your child vaccinated is free and easy. Get vaccinated. The COVID-19 vaccine is safe and the best protection against COVID-19 for children. It's important to talk to trusted people like your child's doctor or school nurse if you have questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. Remember, the more people that get vaccinated, the better the chance the community has at stopping the spread of COVID-19. Your school is your community. Everyone plays a part. Everyone is in it together.